It's Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Robeson, ENT Allergy Associates, and Hightower Westchester. Uh, again, produced by Shark Creative, uh, always uh, innovating and, and coming to great events like this at the Sleepy Hollow Hotel and Conference Center in Tarrytown. It's the Women in Business Awards, and we're honoring the top female executives and more. And our next guest, we have Amanda De Palma. She's the uh, VP of Events for the Westchester uh, Business Council. Business Council of Westchester, either or, right? It works. Both work, both work. Thank <laughs> so you. So it's great to see you. You look very nice for the event, and you have a great smile. Um, even though people can't see you, they can hear you. Uh, I tell like to me. Think they could hear my smile. <laughs> they can hear you smile. Very good, very good. So tell me what exactly is the Business Council of Westchester for those that don't know. The Business Council of Westchester is the premier business membership organization in the county. And as as someone who's an honoree, um, you know, did you ever imagine that you would have these leadership qualities because you, you, you had to get voted into this, right? I mean, when did you feel like you were going to become a leader? Well, I think doing what I do for the business council absolutely just requires a strong set of leadership skills. I produce upwards of 50 in-person events a year for the organization. So everything I do day in and day out requires a strong sense of leadership. You said events, and I love doing events. I was telling Andrew Castellano, the CEO here of Westchester Talk Radio and Shark Creative, that it's just so good to be back out at events. You know, uh, being a radio guy, we're both Syracuse grads. Uh, Mary Calvi is here from CBS2. She went to Syracuse. And uh, we have very important women here. So uh, obviously, we don't mind being around all these women. But um, you're, you're doing all these events again. I mean, were you like you know, were you bummed out during COVID? Because your job is about events and, yes. and they had to be virtual. I mean, it must have been tough was, on you. It was both a feeling of being bummed out, but also a challenge. You know, we took a, a very robust program of those 50 in-person events, completely pivoted it to a virtual climate almost double the number of events we were hosting. So yes, did I miss being out and about and with people? Absolutely. But did I enjoy the challenge of trying to create content that people still were benefiting from in that virtual space and coming up with new and different and engaging things over the course of almost a year and a half? Absolutely. Right. And so um, it, it's just Westchester that you you uh, do events. In. Correct. All our events are based in Westchester. Of course, we encourage folks from outside the county to attend as well, because let's be real, all these businesses do business in Westchester and beyond. But all of the events themselves have a home base within the county. You know, the tri-state area is such a great place because I grew up, you know, I was born in White Plains and I went to school in Rye, but I live in Fairfield County. I love coming down to Westchester County. Uh, when I worked at the local uh, radio station, uh, 107.1 back in the day, uh, which is now the peak, um, you know, we would go to Rockland County a lot. So you have a lot of people, you know, coming in and out of these counties. Absolutely. And Westchester County is so important because it's so close to New York City. You know, it's closer than Fairfield County. Um, so uh, any words of wisdom to younger women? And I know you're young. But we were, we were doing you. a Gen Z much. Awards last night. So they were really young people there. It wasn't just women. It was women and men. But, um, you know, what, what inspiring words could you say for women that want to be leaders like yourselves, like, like all these women? I here? think just very simply put, uh, continue to do what you're passionate about. I think that way, and I say that all the time, that if you are passionate about what you do, success will absolutely follow. And that's sort of what I have tried to live by every day in my career. And as a result, I get to be sitting here today with you. And, and where did you um, go to school? I'm just curious, Amanda. I uh, graduated from Manhattanville with my undergrad and Mercy with my master's degree. It's great to know. My daughter's looking at colleges. She's a senior. And, you know, I'm kind of hoping she picks a college close by. Um, but, you know, she, she's got these dreams of colleges way far away. And I, I just think there's a lot of great colleges in this area, such as Westchester County. Absolutely. And absolutely. We have so many 
professional services, uh, arts, um, uh, nursing services. I mean, there really is something for everybody here. Well, Amanda, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Um, thank you so much for coming on the air. Thank you for Amanda me. De Palma, the VP of the Business Council of Westchester on Westchester Talk Radio. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Enjoy.